GenStat provides a range of tools to measure species abundance, diversity, richness and evenness in ecological communities. Species abundance evaluates how many individuals of a selected species are present. Species diversity evaluates the number of species in an ecological community as well as the number of individuals of each species present. A species abundance survey can help ecologists explore how common or rare a species is relative to other species in an ecosystem. In GenStat, the species abundance plot is used to visualise species abundance distributions. More tools for analysing species abundance data are available, including species accumulation curves, species abundance models, and diversity indices. Let's take a look at how they work. The species abundance data we're using as our example are taken from a study by Peters and Bork in 1999. These three columns, facies A, B and C, represent three distinct paleo communities identified in the Waldron Shale, Indiana. Microbiota of each community were identified and the number of individuals counted to produce the results shown here. If you want to download the spreadsheet and use it to follow the steps in this tutorial, you'll find the link in the video description. From the menu, select Graphics, Ecology, Species Abundance Plot. Select multiple variates samples so that we can compare all communities on the same plot. Hold down the keyboard shift key and click Facies C to select all three facies. Now click the arrow to move them all into the Samples of Individuals field. Select Rank Abundance Plot as the type of plot. Ensure Display Summary is selected as this will display a summary of the number of individuals and species. Click Run. The graphics viewer displays our rank abundance plot and, in the output, we have a summary of the number of individuals and species. On the graph, the x-axis ranks each species in order from most to least abundant. The y-axis shows the relative abundance of species, that is, the number of individuals present in a species relative to the number of individuals in other species measured on a log scale. The shape of the plot lines can provide an indication of dominance or evenness. For example, steep plots signify assemblages with high dominance, while shallower slopes indicate higher evenness. Dominance is where there are a high number of individuals of one species and few individuals of other species present. Evenness is where the number of individuals are more evenly distributed across the species. We can see on the graph that facies A and B have higher species richness than facies C. Facies A and B have higher relative abundance or species evenness indicated by their shallower slopes. The steep plot of facies C indicates that one or more species are dominant with a large number of individuals present, while there are few individuals of other species. Facies A contains the greatest species diversity because it has slightly more evenness and slightly higher species richness than facies B, and much more than facies C. As we've seen, a rank abundance plot can be used to visualise species abundance distributions. The shape of the plot lines indicates dominance or evenness. To assess species diversity, you need to look at the richness and evenness of species within a community. Richness evaluates the number of species within a sample where the more species in a community, the higher the diversity or greater richness. 
evenness evaluates the relative abundance of the different species within a community. The more nearly equal the species' relative abundance is, the higher the diversity. To measure species diversity within a community of co-occurring populations of two or more species, you can use a diversity index. GenStack provides several diversity indices that combine species richness and species abundance in different ways. With the Peters and Bork dataset open, select Stats, Summary Statistics, Diversity. Select multiple variate samples so that we can compare all communities on the same plot. Hold down the keyboard shift key and click Facies C to select all three facies. Now click the arrow to move them all into the samples of individuals field. Each index has its own strength. Some emphasize the richness component, whilst others emphasize the evenness. We'll select the Shannon Weiner index, then click Run. In the output, we can see that facies A and B have higher species diversity than facies C. GenStat provides even more tools for ecology, including species abundance models, species accumulation curves, and multivariate methods. For example, canonical correspondence analysis and redundancy analysis, and others. You can learn more about each of these methods by clicking the Help button and typing into the search field. We'll take a brief look at some of these options now. You'll find the Species Abundance dialog under Stats, Distributions, Species Abundance Models. This dialog provides a range of distributions and models that can be used to describe species abundance data. It includes the log series, Poisson, log normal, negative binomial distributions, and Zipf Mandelbrot model, among others. You'll find the Species Accumulation Curves dialog under Graphics, Ecology, Species Accumulation Curves. Use this to produce species accumulation and rarefaction curves. Species Accumulation Curves show the rate at which new species are found within a community and can be extrapolated to provide an estimate of species richness. Rarefaction is a method that can estimate the number of species that would be found if sampling effort was reduced to a specified level. This then allows comparisons amongst communities where sampling effort is unequal. On the menu, select Stats, Multivariate Analysis. Canonical correspondence analysis enables ecologists to relate the abundance of species to environmental variables. Redundancy analysis is a method to extract and summarize the variation in a set of response variables that can be explained by a set of explanatory variables. In addition, on this menu you'll also find principal components analysis, factor analysis, principal coordinates analysis, correspondence analysis, and others.